So what is a Roth IRA conversion? Well, in simple terms, a Roth IRA conversion is moving money from your IRA into your Roth IRA or moving money from your SEP retirement account into your Roth IRA or moving money from an old 401k into a Roth IRA or moving money from a simple IRA into your Roth IRA. You're taking money that is pre-tax, meaning that taxes have not been paid on those retirement funds yet, and you're moving it into a tax-free account. But in the interim, between the IRA and the Roth IRA, taxes need to be paid. So when you move money out of your IRA, you pay the taxes now, and you get tax-free growth in your Roth IRA. Isn't that great? Now, keep in mind, depending on what your income is, you might do some bracket jumping if you're doing Roth IRA conversions. Drew, what is bracket jumping when it comes to a Roth IRA conversion? Let me give you a good example. Let's say you make $80,000 a year, okay? You're in the 22% federal income tax bracket. But let's say you convert $10,000 from your IRA to your Roth IRA. Well, that $10,000 is considered taxable income in the year that you do the conversion. So you have your $80,000 salary, your $10,000 conversion, you add those together, that's $90,000 in income. You know what bracket you're in now? You're in the 24% bracket. So you want to be careful that you're, you're not doing bracket jumping when you do your Roth IRA conversions. Now, a great thing about a Roth IRA conversion is there's no conversion and there's no income limit. With a Roth IRA, there are income limits and there's contribution limits when you're putting money into it. But when you're doing a conversion, when you're moving money out of your IRA, into a Roth IRA, when you're paying taxes on that money now and putting that money into a Roth IRA, the IRS says, we don't care how much money you make and we don't care how much you convert just as long as you pay the taxes. So if you are a high earner, this is a great strategy to get money that's pre-tax into tax-free. Another benefit is you can take old 401ks, old IRAs, old SEPs, old SIMPLES, whatever you want, you can convert from pre-tax to post-tax just as long as you're paying taxes. Now, let me give you a little tip. If you are over the age of 59 and a half and you have a current 401k, you can actually do withdrawals out of that 401k as a rollover into your IRA and then do a conversion to a Roth IRA. Now, make sure you talk to your CPA, your tax accountant, your financial advisor, you call me because you're only allowed one rollover in a 365 day period, so I don't wanna get you taxable, but you can do it. So